not my blood. <laughs> oh yeah, we're walking around with our nipples out, but... Who did I kill? I mean, it's not much of a murder investigation if I'm the one that commit the murder. Oh, I'm running. I'm not sure who I'm running from, but... I have to dodge. Focus. Oh, I thought I had to go through that. Sorry. <clears throat> it wasn't really demonstrated to me that I had to dodge. It was just go. <sighs> bob and weave, bob and weave. You are not doing a very good job at bobbing and weaving, sir. Steady yourself. Steady yourself. Focus. That's an interesting, that's an interesting design. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. Or as fast as I can. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. If I run, Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I only chose that one because answers. Um, I don't know anything else. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol, you're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. A squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. Then just tell me. Did I kill someone? If I did... Well, 
did I kill? Who? What's the next funeral? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Or you could have asked. Ethan. Hey Ethan, what's in the what's in the freezer, Ethan? I might not have to worry about Ethan, you know, depending on how it you know, how it went. <laughs> Do you have a security camera? I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. I don't know. I thought he maybe he wrote something down. Oh. Can I use the computer? Ethan and his parents. I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. The the desk. I'm not taking the bottle. But like the security camera? Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. Second, use the security camera. Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. What knocked this clock off the pillar? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Some people. No clue for the blood stain. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Okay, I can't go back in there, but I would um just watch the security cam. Okay, what evidence am I missing? Had. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Why do I feel like I wasn't involved in the fight and it was actually like me stopping the fight but getting covered in blood? Uh, 
Um, okay. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Okay, now I'm really running out of things to look at. Oh, we're just looking further. Completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. The flowers are ruined. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. Okay. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Maybe this one? Maybe here. I want to say one here. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Hmm, that makes more sense to me. Where's the next question? Next, I don't get it. Um, anyways, oh, wait, there we go. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. I don't know if that's right, but I'm gonna guess it is. <clears throat>
You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Hey, who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... <laughs> about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at the Sam. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. Yeah, you I am. I'm going to stay. And then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not running. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. I will apologize. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Family, huh? That's my sister, Celeste. She uh, dropped out of school and is living in some commune called The Cove. She wants to be called Kayla now. It's her life. Yeah, and it's my choice to be pissed she's ruining it. Look, Sam, we're fine. This is fine, but, uh, get the hell out of my bar, okay? I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I don't think I really got anything from that interaction, but okay. Okay. Aren't communes usually cults? I'm not actually familiar. So don't, like, get mad at me. But if they are cults, I don't think it's about the Kayla. I think it's about the fact that you've joined a cult. Which, understandable. I would be angry if my family joined cults, too. My nose. Of course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. <laughs> Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. What's that mean? Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Didn't she ask you to meet at 9.30? It was 9.15. Ayo, kid. Ayo, kid. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Okay, then I won't. Well, who am I gonna bother then? Oh wait, can I? Oh, all right, I'll run across the street. I didn't look both ways. Don't hit me. Hello. 
hope she pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I'm from here. I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> Slow day so far. But people are gonna swarm the cafe once the celebration starts. I guess it means more tips for me. So it's not all bad. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a big horse y'all keep kicking. Where is Dennis? Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? No. What does doddering mean? Do I have a choice? Do I really have a choice? Or are you just gonna guilt me with the social contract till I agree? The second one. You always were a character. IRL, he's just staring at the card for like five minutes and she's like, I killed him. I, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, Muley, for two points. Is what is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show Prancers? Pink. The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Pinky. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young. Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again? I don't like tomorrow, the people maybe? of this town. We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! Off I go? No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Breaks the pinky swear. You demon, you demon, you lied. You Thank lied to the you child. so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about... Where is Dennis? Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, speaking of the... Poor Joan. Losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but... I'll just listen. I'll be a good person. These last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. 
Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who's, who's Hugh? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Oh, he was her boss. Ah, Got it. But look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Slowly decomposing. Uh, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Coffee. Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. She sounds more like she's, a uh, New York. Wait, is it York? No, it would be, I thought it was Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You're in Virginia. <laughs> Where is it? Maybe I shouldn't say these things because I don't actually know where these places are. Open the door, Samuel. Walking. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to. Coffee, though. Is that Brooklyn or New York? Is Brooklyn in... <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn's in New York. Anyways. Um, yep. Nope, we're going with that. Brooklyn's a state now. Have a great day. Yes, I know all 50 states. Uh, New York and Brooklyn. That is two? No, 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 it's 50. Oh yeah, no cars can come this way. I can play in the road all I want. Hello, random person. Have you seen Dennis? Joe. Joe Mom. Oh, wait, that's her, that's her dad, isn't it? Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. Man, he's a rock. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yo, Sam, you old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. The boys give you trouble? They might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I can talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. 
I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Who are you? Old man. Hey, have you seen Dennis? Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answered. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Ten. One to hold the light bulb, nine to rotate the ladder. <laughs> Not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself like that? Mourning the past? Sometimes. But I ain't like folks around here. I made my peace. The mind's not coming back. Don't mean we let our statues turn to rust. So, you still want to hear the story? Yeah, sure. I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. You didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations being what they are refused and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. The miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. Ten thousand strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died. Is that in the what redneck means? Blood spill for what we have now. <laughs> I'm guessing you're fond of that story, huh? A lot of respect for rednecks. Well, things were tough, but we were a united community back then. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Thank you, random old man. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Do I know this lady? No luck so nope. far, but I should keep digging around. I can't talk Someone to them. must have seen Dennis. Well, um, I guess the child's my last choice. Um, I know I shouldn't bother you, but I'm gonna bother you. Watch your drone, hey, kiddo. Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Nice. Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet. I don't think. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know, this place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. I thought I was going to refuse me and my choice. When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... Is 
It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I like how you can just be like, I got interrupt. Stuff I gotta do. Just wait, her, got kid stuff I let her finish talking and be like, so have you seen Dennis, busy. by the way? Hard hitting stuff, kid. Like this. Seems she got older by oh, six Do you know years where Dennis is? Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. No, but do you know where Dennis is? I'll be fine. Just waiting for my mom's shift to end. Normally I'd be with my dad, but you know. No, I don't know. What happened to your dad? Oh, hello. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. Is that Dennis? It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... That's not Dennis. I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of... You're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig people. or fascist just for doing your job. Mm. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? You could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? Grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Huh? Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Wait, I want to talk to the kid. Kid. Alright. Just be twenty five cents. Oh yo, Tara. Oh yo. Open door. One day he will learn how to open a door. Today's not that day. Not as long as I'm in control, he's not gonna learn how to open a door. <clears throat> Can I buy a hat? Yo, get out the way. I don't even know what I want to say to this dude. I'm picking fights. You move. I'm the one coming in. Fuck you. That's enough. Dude, there was like plenty of room. You just decided to be annoying, so I decided to be annoying back. I'm picking fights. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. So was Tara. Hey, random person. Hello. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you? It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve. I love how it's just like... And mm -hmm. your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. There's a bug. 
I'm trying to find something for it. And if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. Mm, you can. I'm glad someone took over this old drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. I feel like I'm supposed to be interrupting these it people. Was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. I like Tara. She's funny. Better have insurance for real. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And... I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask. Why move here? I'm interested in these of people. All places. Not really, you but know, like here, Basswood. A blink to an extent. And you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, you'd make sales, but you don't get to know anyone ever. Plus, if I'm being honest. I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something for me? Mm, sure. Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat. But I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Very cool. Depression poster. Hell yeah. Oh! Your customer's gone. Hello. I am your customer now. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. What are you doing with hey, those Kathy. squelchy noises? Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? Are you looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but... I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. 
She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. The boss sees me jawing instead of working, I'll get an earful. What are you working on? You don't I have don't any customers. Much help. I'm your only customer. I guess I'll talk to her. I guess. But where's Walter? Where's Waldo? Okay. Okay, I guess I'll go in there and I will talk. Spill her coffee. How dare you? I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sam! I'm glad you came. Of course. I said I would. Did I? I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point. It's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. No, Long you night. said you want to drink alone. Yeah, sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. Yo! <laughs> Worse she does, she calls the police, the game ends. I am free. <laughs> I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? Well, that's what I want to know. I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's... All a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Hopefully not kill Dennis. For the sake of the child, hopefully not killed Dennis. For the sake of Dennis? Where's the fucking... Okay. Where? Oh, the child is gone. Walter, what's up? You don't look very happy, Walter. Samuel, Samuel, my young soul. Are you still haunting this pallid town? Have you seen Dennis? Walter, you haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Can't say I have. I hear you got into quite a tussle. Quite the tussle. Nothing other than that? You should try the Basswood Jungle Office. I've known him to go in on Sundays. He may be a prickly pear, a very prickly pear, but he's dedicated. 
If he says something will be done Monday, come the devil or come the rain, it is. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with mother is sacred. Call on me anytime, young Samuel. Anytime. Actually. I've got a lot to think about. Seems my boy. Walter's got a lot in his mind. Think about. I know the But but man's asked me to ask. He asked me to ask. Feeling. <sighs> okay. Is this the place? I think this is the only place I didn't like go inside. They're kicking somebody. Stop. Oh. Oh, it's y'all. Hey there. Never mind. I guess it's not who I think it is. Is this is this a place? Oh, I can go in here. I just thought it was some place you can't go inside. Locked. I should check the back. Breaking and entering part two. My, my, there, oh no, my. it was them. I just ran into them and they Look didn't care. What we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Could you say it again? Sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> I don't know, I think it's funny. Clear enough? Maybe one more time. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. Hacker voice. I'm in. <laughs> Hopefully there's not a dead person in here. <laughs> and if there is, I hope I didn't kill them. Been a while. This place used to be my home. Or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. He is probably dead. Hey, computer on. Hey, dead man. Dennis. Dennis. What happened? Who? Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? I don't think you killed him. We're running again, probably. I don't think you killed him. I think you tried to help him. Sam. Yeah. Why did you kill me? I don't think you killed him. Sorry to say it. I think the obvious answer would be, oh yeah, you killed him. I don't think you killed him. I think he tried to tell us a secret, and the guy... I don't know if I Do trust this, you. When you focus, you can think through any problem. Just keep going. You got this. Why did you get 
D. Sam, no, don't think about that. D, don't, don't focus. Up, Sam, you almost have it. He's gonna touch me. Keep going. You got this. I might have had to restart, I think. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Oh no. Oh no. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Okay, I didn't know that... I, I would assume he moved it. But yes, he had it on him last time. Oh, holster. Duh. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? A blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Me? The blood has been disturbed. By what? Hmm. The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. Yes. I have the complete picture now. Hugh and Joel are pretty sus. I don't think I killed him. Maybe my character wants to think it was him, but I don't think it was. I'd say why'd he run, but he was drunk, so.
The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled in my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. His computer would be a good place to I start. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. I kept pressing F instead of D. Emails between Nick and D. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And, and I ignored that call. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Should maybe also text Anna... Nick BTW. Behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. There is a dead person. Something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. Hmm. Anna's desk being here is a little weird to me, I'm gonna be honest. So strange how calm it is out there when... Well, this happened. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Hmm. Thank you. Does granddad rock a thing? 
If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. That's not it. I have to keep looking. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Support. Just another sad day. So he asked for a report regarding. Mm. Mostly standard so far. By the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. Hmm. The car really burned. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. It's almost like someone's trying to hide something, huh? Uh-oh. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I wasn't done with that computer, boy. I think it's time I check Nick's office. No, I think it's time I didn't finish reading those emails. Ratman, Ratman, I wasn't done. I hate you. Get in here. Valid question. Still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. Are you dumb? Okay. Nope. And with something like ten thousand combinations, what? I doubt I'll stumble on it. Was it four one and not one I four? Keep Shoot. Brain so small. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. Twenty three forty one could also be eleven forty one. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Be wrecked. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. And? Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? 
Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Nick, Anna, and me. What if I take it? Hmm. Leave it, take it, or put it down. I know I said take. Take it. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this. For old time's sake. Mine. Hmm. Two, three, four, one. One to one. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. <laughs> Who knows? Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Me. Elbow. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? <clears throat> Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed. Very normal, flattened out in years last year or so. On the rebound, numbers looking good. Trend or outlier, need more data points. Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. He went to Florida. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. 8 p.m. with D, twitchy guy, my something useful. Second meeting with D, this is actually something. Still want to stream full crap. Some spooky spots. Maybe see new movies. D had to buy him breakfast and so we couldn't meet anymore. Seems like a dead end. Thought I lost him. Glad he's open to talking again. There's not much there. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details <laughs> of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? Oh, <laughs> shit. 